back everyone. We are on a trip into the wild. LRK, the little ran of Kutch, at least in Gujarat. I wanted to explore the little ran of Kutch for a very long time to shoot or photograph some of the majestic birds such as the peregrine falcon, short hair dowel. And I was very fortunate to go at this time and capture those wonderful birds uh, with this amazing combo of camera and lens. I have captured tons of images and videos in this trip and uh, I want to share all of them with you. My name is Hans Hamid and I am thrilled to take you on this journey. I have been spending the last few days with the Canon R6 Mark II and the RF 200-800mm lens. strength of the camera and lens it's very visible when you start using this combo especially when you can go to that 800 mm uh, reach that produces some amazing footage my love for the cameras that i use is based on the technology built into them and how they perform on the field and in my trip to lrk we have captured we have photographed some of the majestic birds. The Canon R6 Mark II is a very versatile mirrorless camera from Canon known for its exceptional image quality and advanced autofocus functionalities. When it is paired with the RF 200-800mm to lens, you have the ultimate setup for wildlife photography. Quite surprisingly, after all these years, still the biggest question that people ask is what is the best focal length for bird or wildlife photography. Some of the footage that we have taken from this trip is going to give you a good indication of this matter. Despite its powerful zoom range, the RF 200-800mm lens remains surprisingly compact and lightweight, making it perfectly fit for handheld shooting in the field. The Canon R6 Mark II and 200-800mm to lens allow us to get some close and personal shots with our subjects without distracting their natural behavior. The ability to track at 800mm is a huge factor when you shoot wildlife. Look how small these subjects are in the frame and still the camera is able to identify the subject. The focus is always on the subject and even with few distractions in the foreground, the camera still sticks with the focus on the subject. Any camera would struggle to keep the focus here when the bird is fast and flying in a surprising pattern. But to my surprise, the R6 Mark II was still able to keep the subject in the frame and the balance on the RF 200-800mm to lens. It was very convenient and easy to shoot this video. Being in the wide shot at 800mm, there are many more subjects to focus on. But still, the camera was precisely focusing on what it's supposed to focus. I was able to flip the focus from subject to subject with the joystick and it was very easy to handle on the field. One of the biggest advantages of Canon autofocus system is whether you are a person who use half press for autofocus in the shutter or use the back button for autofocus. The camera continues to track that subject without you pressing any of these. 
Switching between I to I was a great option in the earlier models and now switching between subject to subject is even greater with the autofocus and artificial intelligence functionalities. Just look at the quality and clarity that we are able to achieve with this setup. Whether it's freezing the motion of a bird in flight or capturing the intimate moments between animals. The R6 Mark II and RF200 800mm lens deliver stunning results every single time. One of the key highlights of the Canon R6 Mark II is the advanced autofocus system, which is essential for capturing fast-moving wildlife. Autofocus is the thing now, and every camera brand talks about it when they release the newer models. Earlier, the concentration was more on the megapixels, the 8K video, and so on. But now, mostly every brand is settled with all these technology, and everybody is trying with artificial intelligence and new autofocusing techniques. The Canon subject detection works great and paired with the RF 200-800mm to lens, we have the perfect combination for tracking subjects with precision and accuracy. With the new autofocus system and animal detection technology, the R6 Mark II ensures that our subjects are always tack sharp, even in the most challenging shooting scenarios. The animal IAF or bird IAF in the video makes a huge difference when you are on the field and such autofocus systems are a must if you are into wildlife. The autofocus system performs extremely well and I have been seen scenarios where the autofocus fails. The autofocus performance of both stills and videos are phenomenal. The subject detection works pretty fast and the pre-shooting helps us to shoot the scene before we even begin shooting. Well, I can talk about all these features all day, but these images and videos that you see on the screen explains it much more. Beyond capturing wildlife, the Canon R6 Mark II and RF 200-800mm lens offer endless opportunities for creativity and exploration. Whether it's capturing breathtaking landscapes or documenting the intricate details of nature, this dynamic duo helps us to push the boundaries of our craft. I wanted to see the overall stickiness of this camera with different subjects and movements. I hope these scenes that you see speaks for themselves. Once again, the ability to go wide as low as 200mm and as close as 800mm within the single system makes a huge difference. This lens doesn't have a stabilizer mode such as 1, 2, 3 like you see in the other telephoto lenses. But Canon says that the lens has the uh, functionality to detect the panning and based on that the lens will adjust its settings automatically. Some people may like the physical buttons but for others just know that Canon didn't ignore this feature but it's already included as a automated functionality. If you are a person who use filters on your lens you can have the filters uh, as it comes with a 95 mm filter thread. I don't use filters on my glass because I don't like something coming in front of my perfect glass. Let us also look at how the aperture works with this lens. The, the chart below shows that at 200mm it starts at f6.3 and it goes to f7.1 at 268mm followed by f8.0 at 455mm and f9 at 637mm. You may think that these things are a trade-off, but the results that I'm showing you today will tell you otherwise. I would like to show you some of the images that we have shot with 
the Canon R6 Mark II and RF200 to 800mm lens. Here the Eagle is trying to take off and uh, this is shot at 1 by 1600 shutter speed at f9. You could see the overall sharpness of this uh, image. It looks amazing. In this sample, the short eared owl is perched on a tree where the light is very shallow. Look at the detail that you could see in this image. Even at very high ISO, where the light is very shallow, the lens and camera still performs at its highest level. Here is another short eared owl sits on the ground, shot at 800mm and f9. The common kingfisher perched at very far and uh, at 800 mm this is a very heavily cropped image it looks very very sharp even this parrot it is perched very very far and uh, again shot at 800 mm and f9 here is another shot of a peregrine falcon sits on the ground shot at 800 mm and f9 what I'm trying to show with these images are the focal length and the aperture f9 it's really complementing each other birders. This is more convincing and convenient, especially when you shoot small birds and you want to crop them. You get a cleaner image with the 24 megapixel R6 Mark II and you don't need to worry much about noise even at a higher ISO. Having said that, you can still add an additional 1.4x or 2x teleconverters with this lens and it gives you more reach. The lens is fully capable of handling both these converters and if you have a good lighting conditions, they just work great. Having the option of going from 200mm to 800mm give you that versatility to create well composed shots. In the real world, you will find this combo more useful and helpful. Even at a higher ISO on an overcast day, the image still looks sharp at 800mm. This is where this lens and camera will shine. Even at such an aperture like f9, the background still looks so good. In this scenario, the bird is perched and at f9, you can see there are many distracting elements. So you'll have to be very careful when you shoot at such short range and aperture. Despite these obvious elements, again, the versatility of this lens is well worth it. This is a great lens for wildlife photographers, birders and action photographers who don't want to spend thousands of dollars on a lens. This could be the one lens that you can carry on when you are on a boating trip or safari to shoot your photos and videos. With features like in-body stabilization and customizable shooting modes, we have the flexibility to unleash our creativity and capture unique perspectives that truly showcase the beauty of the natural world. Even when the subject face is not in the frame, the R6 Mark II was still able to follow them. Even when the IAF is activated, it will immediately switch to head or body if the eye was not detectable. This combination was very much helpful to focus more on the creativity side rather than you go after the focusing modes and focusing part. We tried some backlit situations to see how the camera will perform. And as you can see in these images, there was no issues at all with the focus system, the way the camera was looks at the subject, even in the not so suitable condition is quite incredible. Almost all the time, the camera did what it is supposed to do. And there you have it folks. The Canon R6 Mark II and RF200 to 800mm lens is a powerhouse combination that is redefining the art of wildlife photography. 
The 40 FPS is huge, especially when you are shooting fast action. The camera comes with great ergonomics like any other Canon cameras and it feels so great to carry them. The RF 200-800mm lens is a well-balanced lens and it helps to manage the weight especially when you shoot videos. The 3.8 million dot EVF is another great feature in this camera. I have noticed that the battery life of this camera is greatly improved as well. I've shot the entire day with R6 Mark II and 200 to 800mm lens with just one battery and it was incredible. You have all the connectivity options in the camera. This is a must lens if you are a Canon wildlife shooter and looks for something below $2000. I don't think you will go wrong on this lens, especially considering the reach. I think I have covered almost everything that I have learned by using this combo for last few days. If, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. If you have any feedback or suggestions, please pause them in the comments below and we will try to answer them as early as possible. If you would like to support this channel, if you are a fan of cameras, you can subscribe to our channel that will give you all the latest videos to your feed. Once again, thanks for joining me on this video and until next time, happy shooting.